Welcome back to Cryptos Are Us. I am George. We're all George. So I'm filming this during KC45 in Dubai. Um, I want to give you guys an update on Bitcoin. What's going on after having an event? I also share a little bit about my experience here. Amazing event. And talk about, I guess, Dubai in general because it's my last day. First of all, let me show you around. I am all the way up in the bleach area. This used to be a tennis arena, but it's been converted. So let me show you. So there it is. So standing all around, like over there, around the pit is all the VIP. And then there's a VIP like bar and food. And there's a section there for like the super high end VIPs and sheiks. And then everyone else is around. Right, it's good, good event, jam-packed. It is hot, it's very hot. I'm sitting all the way up right now so I can film this so it's not too loud, hopefully. But yeah, what's going on with Bitcoin, first of all? A lot of people have been asking me, hey, George, it's the halving of it. Why is Bitcoin not pumped up? We're right now sitting at 65,000 and that's not a bad place to be. And I've said this before, in previous halving events, uh, Bitcoin doesn't pump up right away. It do, it do, it just doesn't. In 2020, it took six months before Bitcoin started moving. In, tw in 2017, it took like a month or two. So it doesn't happen right away. So if you're disappointed, you're thinking Bitcoin's going to start pumping right away. That's just not reality. But it could. It could start pumping tomorrow. Or we may have to wait three to six months before we see a pump, right? So don't be discouraged. That's just how it is for Bitcoin. You know, it just sometimes it just doesn't move when you expect it to, right? The schedule varies. So that's really it. So don't be discouraged. Bitcoin is still sitting very pretty at 65,000. A lot of the alts have come up a little bit because of it, but it's just a matter of time. Now the inflation rate of Bitcoin has been cut in half and it's gonna make it that much harder for people. Well, first of all, for the miners to make a Bitcoin it's double as difficult. And second of all, um, Bitcoin is now more scarce than gold. Well, overall supply, of course, is gonna be more scarce than gold, but the inflation rate is now even lower than gold. That's absolutely positive. With all the talks about inflation and the US possibly getting drawn into another war and, and basically, you know, the money printing and the borrowing will never stop. It doesn't matter, there's always a new narrative, right? There's always something that the US has to do. But that's why we have Bitcoin. If you want to hedge inflation, truly hedge inflation, you need something like Bitcoin, right? So stay strong, my friends. Now, as for this event right here, this was not an IFC event, but man, my role as a fight uh, promoter, has escalated a lot during this trip. A lot of people have been asking me about karate combat, getting very excited. There's a lot of people that you wouldn't expect that wants to fight. They're they're asking me to fight. Um, it's quite amazing. I met all the big influencers, though at least the ones that are here, right? Had a good chat with them, and pretty overall, everyone's super impressed with how karate combat handles itself, the fight itself, and everyone is just. You know, they're just excited to be in crypto. Everyone here, basically, besides the locals, everyone here are from the conference for Token 2049. They're here, they're excited. I'm getting stopped left and right, you know, being pitched by projects and, and you know, getting my t picture taken and asking me how they can get into a fight. But I uh, met a lot of people, a lot of people, and it's it's uh, it's humbling experience and it's also exciting, something that I'm gonna continue to do, but uh man a couple of big developments i bumped into roger veer he came along very nice guy you know very controversial obviously because of what he did with bch and back in the day but man really a super nice guy you know i met a couple of billionaires on this trip uh and he's one of them man he told me i want to fight get me ready he's a, he's pumped he's excited to get in the pit of karate combat so I am now trying to find someone to take him on. Um, and he's, he said, go ahead and just promote it. He's, he's not even, he, he just wants to take a fight. That's how excited he is. And he's not the only one. A lot of others are 
really serious about it. And I'm pushing a lot of others too, but it's uh, it's pretty amazing. And Karate Combat has treated me really well. And, you know, I've been telling everyone about this. I don't talk a lot about karate, but there are a lot of projects out there with no utility at all, zero utility, other than staking and governance. And Karate Combat actually figured out something with their karate tokens. They're incentivizing their fighters with it. And also, players can use it to bet. They actually have real-world usage with their token. And that's, you can't say that about every project that's out there, right? So I'm really excited to be a part of this. And again, this experience is awesome. It got me to connect with others that I normally would never meet. And it's a great experience. And today is the last day. Today's the last day of my two plus week trip. You guys know I've been filming on the go mostly. Started in Paris, Paris Blockchain Week and Sui, right, base camp. Met a lot of people there, but Dubai is a whole other animal. Token 2049. It's just much, much bigger. A lot more people here. And you would figure uh, halfway around the world in Dubai, people wouldn't know me, you know, but they do. At the conference, I was like, like I said, like a celebrity, right? And it's humbling that people know me, but mostly they come up to me and they say, hey, George, I've followed you for years. I love, I love your consistency. I love your bullishness, right? Um, and I love to be known for that, you know, someone that keeps people in the game, keeps their head straight, right, and, and hopefully help educate as well along the way. So uh, Dubai is a different animal, and I'm hoping to to uh, to attend Token 2049 Singapore and all these other conferences in the future. It's good, you know. It's one of the things I like to do is network, right? I like to network, and I'm gonna continue to do so. So. Uh, but yeah, you know, you guys know Dubai has a lot of flooding. Worst flood in 75 years is still ongoing. It's weird in the middle of the desert to have a flood, but uh, but overall, this city is, I'd say, pretty a pretty pretty nice place to visit. I would say. Would I live here? Probably not. But would I come back and visit? Yeah. Food is great. You got a lot of things to do. Things are relatively inexpensive especially compared to paris wait hold on one second look at that jumbotron right there Combat just has a different vibe. Unlike the USC, where there's like a cage, an octagon, and you can't really get close, the VIP is like right up there. It's really, it's really nice. It's a different vibe. Anyways, that's it, guys. Just want to give you guys a quick update. Stay strong, stay focused. 50, 25, 25 rule. A lot of people ask me about that on this trip. They're also asking me, like, hey, what are your top place, right? What do you, what are you bullish on? I'm bullish on D pin bullish on AI, bullish on meme coins, and bullish on L1s, L2s, of course, outside of Bitcoin. It's really that simple. And once I get home and hopefully get adjusted to the time difference, it's back, back to work, back to the grind. All right, smash the like, subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.